Okay, let us solve one more problem. Evaluate limit extends to 0, 1 plus x volt to the power of 3 by 2 minus 1 by x. So, if you substitute x is equal to 0 directly, we get 0 by 0 form. So, that is why it has to be put in the form of x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a form that is n into a power n minus 1 that will be the standard limit so that we can solve this problem. But whenever these kind of problems will appear in competitive entrance examination, very simple. So, whenever the limit extends to 0, 1 plus x whole to the power of n minus 1 by x is there, answer is n only. So, that means answer is 3 by 2. So, we need to show that our answer is 3 by 2. So, let us solve it now. Solution. Limit extends to 0 this 1 plus x all to the power of 3 by 2 minus 1 upon x. So, let us change the denominator. So, this denominator means in the denominator add 1 and subtract 1. So, we can write like this limit x tends to 0 1 plus x all to the power of 3 by 2 minus 1 by this can be written 1 plus x minus 1 it makes no difference. Now, we need to change the limit as x approaches to 0 the 1 plus x approaches to 1 am I correct. So, now this can be rewritten as limit 1 plus x tends to 1, 1 plus x all to the power of 3 by 2 minus 1 by 1 plus x minus 1. How does it appear? It appears to be in the form of limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a equals to n times a power n minus 1. Here a means 1. So, that means equals to we get 3 by 2 times 1 to the power of 3 by 2 minus 1. So, 3 by 2 times 1 to the power of half. So, root 1 is 1. So, 3 by 2 times 1. So, answer is 3 by 2. Check what is the answer? Our expected answer has been arrived. So, let us solve another problem. Evaluate limit extends to 0 cube root of 1 plus x minus cube root of 1 minus x upon x. So, let us solve it. Solution limit x tends to 0 this can be written as like this 1 plus x to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 3 by x. So, these kind of problems can be easily done in regarding to the competitive entrance examination. Suppose, if this question appears in competitive entrance examination, very simple way we can do it. Here 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. So, answer will be 2 by 3. Okay? So, now let us verify whether we get 2 by 3 or not. So, let us check it. So, now this equals to, so in the numerator subtract 1 and add 1. So, let us see it. So, limit x tends to 0, 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 and minus 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 3 plus 1 upon x. It makes no difference. So, let us write as the difference of the two limits now. So, this can be written limit x tends to 0, 
the 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 upon x minus this can be written if you take minus common this will be becomes minus 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 by x. Now, the limit can be applied to this function as well as this function now. So, we can write limit extends to 0 this 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 by x minus limit extends to 0 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 upon x. So, let us change the limit here. So, now the x can be written as 1 plus x and plus 1. Here first the minus we can multiply this one here I can write plus 1 and 1 minus x and minus 1 write down. So, now this can be written limit 1 plus x tends to 1 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 upon x sorry upon 1 plus x minus 1 can I write like this you check it because in order to put in the form of x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a where x tends to a so that we can write n times a to the power of n minus 1 that is our actually goal. So, now minus this can be written plus write on limit 1 minus x tends to here 1 1 minus x whole to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 upon 1 minus x and minus 1. So, now the both are in the form of standard form. So, we can write this is the first one 1 by 3 to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 plus 1 by 3 times 1 to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1. 1 to the power of something is always 1. Here also the same we can apply. So, 1 by 3 times 1, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. I already explained you the in a shortcut manner. So, but do not apply the shortcut for academic examination. So, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, 3 is the LCM, 1 plus 1. So, answer is 2 by 3. This is our expected answer. So, let us solve the problem. Evaluate limit extends to 0, 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 8 upon x. Suppose, if it is a competitive entrance examination, answer easily we can expect 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8, 2 by 8, 1 by 4 is the answer. But regarding to the academic examination, so we should not write direct answer. So, let us solve the problem now. So, we need to prove this one as 1 by 4. So, now solution limit extends to 0. The numerator pi denominator let us write the values now respective values 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 8 upon x. So, now add minus 1 and plus 1 in the numerator. So, limit x tends to 0 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 minus of 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 8 plus 1 upon x it makes no difference. So, now we can split this one as the sum of the two limits of the functions. So, this can be written limit x tends to 0 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 upon x. 
take minus common and minus of 1 minus x whole to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 upon x. So, this we will get it. Okay. Now, the limit can be applied to the both the functions. Limit x tends to 0, 1 plus x whole to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 upon x minus limit x tends to 0, 1 minus x whole to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 upon x. Now, we need to put in the standard form that is x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a as limit x tends to a so that we can write n times a to the power of n minus 1. So, this can be rewritten limit 1 plus x tends to 1 as x tends to 0 put here x for 0 1 plus x tends to 1. So, 1 plus x all to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 upon this can be written 1 plus x minus 1. This is nothing but x only. Now, here some actually we get little bit confusion, but you need not get any confusion here. Bring this minus sign to here, here add on plus, this becomes minus x, add 1 and subtract 1. So, directly this can be written plus limit 1 minus x tends to 1 only as x approaches to 0 1 minus x approaches to 1 only. So, now 1 minus x all to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 upon 1 minus x minus 1. So, now using standard formula this can be written 1 by 8 times 1 to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1 plus 1 by 8 times 1 to the power of 1 by 8 minus 1. 1 to the power of something is 1, 1 to the power of something is 1. So, we have 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8. This is 2 by 8. What is the answer? Yes, 1 by 4. Already we expected the answer. So, this is the final answer.